Hey y'all, it's Shelly. Um, so I just did a video about um the molds and what I had been using. And um I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what kind of clay I've been using in the molds. Um and the differences in what I like and what I don't like. Um first I started using the Sculpey clay or the FEMO uh clay that you have to bake. Um, I got this large packet of clay of all different colors, um, and you can see that I, I've used a lot of it already. Um, I've already used like a big chunk of uh, like a tan color, maybe. I don't really remember all the colors that were that were in that. Yeah, I believe it was tan. Um, and I used it with my hard clay molds, my silicone molds, and my Oya Maru, the only one that I have. Um, and I found that with the Sculpey bake, the clay that you bake, I do not like the Sculpey clay in the hard mold because it's very hard for me to get them out. Um, I've heard people say spray your molds with mold release. I've heard them say dust it with cornstarch, baby powder, any of those things. Um, none of that worked for me. I still had them stick very, very much. This particular mold is very detailed. And my camera is crap, so you probably can't see very well. But it's inside there. It has a lot of detail. This is a bald eagle. And, um... The, the bake clay, the, the Sculpey bake clay did not work for me at all. Um, in the silicone molds where I could just pop them out, you know, like I could flex the mold to get, to get the item out, they worked very well. Um, and, you know, uh, you just, you know, you can, you can pretty much do that one handed. Um, you can, you know, flex that molding and get the Sculpey clay right out. So then I went in search of something else that I could use with all of these hard clay molds that I have because I have a lot of like steampunky like clay molds and um they're but they're hard so you know I didn't know how I was going to be able to use them. So then I found this Martha Stewart um air dry clay. Uh, when I opened up this clay, I actually I bought three of these at one time. Uh, I think I got it at ohmycrafts.com for very cheap because they had it on sale uh, and a coupon or something. I got three of them at one time. And the first package that I opened said you can open it, use a portion of it, wrap a wet paper towel around it and put it in an air tight container and it will be fine for you to use again. Okay, so I did that. When I opened it up, I'm, I found that it wasn't as pliable as it was the first time I opened it. So it was very hard for me to manipulate it to into the molds. Um, the good thing about this clay is that it is more like a marshmallow-like texture when you um, go to pull it apart, um, it even kind of looks like marshmallow. I know you probably can't tell because of my crappy camera, but um, it's it's more like a marshmallow type um, texture than the air dry clay. The air dry clay is just super hard for me to work with in the hard molds. And um, this, I put it right in there and pulled it right out with no problem. I mean, it was really flexible. It's really forgiving. And um, so I really, really like this clay a whole lot for my hard clay molds. Now, the only thing I have to say about this, this Martha Stewart um, air dry clay, and this is the only color I have. I have not gotten any of the colors. colors. I've only gotten the white. Um, the only thing I have to say about it is it, it definitely gives a different texture when the mold dries or the the molded item dries and when when I put this down on this piece of paper it's not flat 
it's, you know, it's, it's wavy and it's, it's not, and it's very flat on the back. Um, I made very sure to make them flat, but it's just the way that it has dried. Now, when you add glossy accents or whatever you're using to adhere it to the back and you flatten it out, you'll probably have to hold it there for a few seconds, but once you do, it, it's fine, you know, um, so even, I mean, even with this one, with me just sitting there and bending it like that, it's, it's pretty flat now. It has one side that's wanting to be a little bit stubborn, but, um, so this is a lot different. And, you know, if you had this on your page and it was metal, it would make your page like a, really a lot heavier. So, you know, I've kept all of the pieces that I have, like the originals, to all of this stuff um, because they're so heavy and I don't want them on the, my pages. This is so light. I mean, it's just really light. Um, it's even lighter than the pieces I've made out of the clay that has to be baked. Um, and, and it's, I think it's even probably lighter than most of the resin pieces that I have. So, just wanted to let y'all know what I've been up to. Um, so if you have any comments, let me know. And if you try any of it out, let me know. Thanks.